we're back with the NBA preview podcast. We're going to talk about the Southeast Division playoffs and our playoffs. Uh, we're going to start with our favorite team, the Heat. Yes. Heat and five. Heat and five. Heat and five. No, Akron have, is awful. They have a rebuilding situation here. Um, wait, wait, rebuilding? What are you, you crazy? About? They lost. What? They what, only what, lost what? the best player in the NBA. Rebuild what? We, we're not yeah, rebuilding. I mean, when you when you lose, we we have reloaded. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> maybe, Sorry. Reloaded. Maybe you need to uh, unmute these two, John, because they're talking out of their. <laughs> well, I'm hosting it, so so new. Uh, what, what what exactly are the Heat gonna do in five, guys? Win it. In five. Win everything. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Like, okay. To be in all seriousness. This isn't a bad there team. Is, there is a, like, honestly, what I believe is going to happen, which is a Cavs uh, Bulls Eastern Conference Finals. And then what I want to happen, which is the Heat to crush LeBron's dream and to beat him. And in for five. Dwayne, I'm not in five. And for Dwayne Wade to take all the steroids that exist on planet Earth. <laughs> I am about that. I really I hope, hope that, that happens. happens. I hope that happens. And you know I'm what not- I was doing Friday at work? I was looking up uh, Chris Bosch MVP odds. I'm not so that's arguing how I feel that, about the heat. I'm not arguing that so, that wouldn't be the greatest thing And they're going to make some noise. Would. They're going to make tons of noise. Chris, Chris Bosh is going to get... He's going to He's going to be like Toronto Bosh. You, know, you know who's going to be so much rookie buckets. of the year? Best Shabazz. newcomer of the year? Shabazz. Shabazz is terrible. So nope, the, he's e- awesome. The Eastern Conference uh, All-Stars are probably going to be um, Dwayne Wade, Chris, Chris Bosh, Shabazz, uh, Napier, Lou Dang. Lou Aldang. Dang. And Bird maybe Le- maybe LeBron will make it out. Realistically, though, mm-hmm. do you Shabazz think Napier would be the first rookie to come off the bench and make the All Star team? <laughs> the first third string point guard. So yeah, so the first third string point guard. I, I don't know what you guys expected us to, to say about the Heat. Team. I can't believe you wrote rebuilding on that. Rebuilding. I'm insulted. We have. Do you, do you guys think that Luol Dang will um survive the season? Okay. Of course. Okay. Um, in, in all with, honesty, with his bootlegs throwing the back of his house. In all the honesty and in all seriousness, that's the Heat number one concern. Injuries from Luol Dang can and I from go, Dwayne Wade. Can I go Dan- Danny Ferry for a minute? And can I just say I hope that his African work ethic carries over to everyone else on the team? If yes. his African work ethic carries over. Heat, heat in five. five. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> oh, my God. No, Making I, some noise. We would be so good. I, no, I would like to see honestly because um in the games where the other guys were out, Mario Chan was really stepped up. I think like I would want to see what his confidence because he's irrationally confident. Mario I have no confidence Chalmers, in his hair. Mario Chalmers has believed he's the best. What player did he do to his hair? I really years. think that Chalmers could average fifteen and like seven. Like he if believes he, he can ball. average twenty five and twelve. He, but I believe he could be a quality player in the NBA. You know who was holding them back? He LeBron. Could not LeBron exactly. was holding LeBron, back LeBron, Mario Chalmers. In fact, LeBron was holding this LeBron entire team back. Championships. Yes, so LeBron was man. holding this entire city back. Last last year, he held us back. Four championships. This is this is just. He just made the finals every year. What the hell? Now I get to make an hour reference. This is just like in the hour when they <laughs> renamed Sterling City Star City. The Heat are now Star City. Star. We're renaming it. Don't call it Miami anymore. This is Star City. So we're going to call okay, Welcome Star, S- we're gonna star call City. Star we just City. lost the biggest star in sports. Who? Who? Now we're Star City. We got, Who are you talking about? Chris Bosh. Pat Riley's still there. Us. Pat Riley's still there. Dwayne Wade's still there. Alonzo's in the front there. office. As long as Superstar. Superstar. Pat Riley, you have a chance, definitely. Has Dwayne Wade taken a jump shot this offseason? Do you guys know? Has he worked on his game at all? Um, Dwayne Wade basically took the super um, I heard formula from Captain America, so he's good. Word on the street is he's back to his 2006 form. Me and John are giving everyone on, some so we took amazing all of the steroids basketball then, analysis. Basically. Literally, we're on this street, Brooklyn Road. This is, a, this is a, in a this conversation is between Kari and analysis. John. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Look, you don't know basketball. I hope for his sake, the win. We took all of the steroids. So Look, in East Miami's Germany. gonna make their fifth appearance, and with LeBron not there, it's gonna be like we didn't need you. <laughs> we didn't need you. We didn't need you. So you heard from John and Dakari, okay. Miami Heat no, going in, to the finals. In all, in all seriousness, I hope that he can. Um, be a top four team in the Eastern Conference. They have you to hope fight. they have to fight. They fight will. Off. Yes, John. Okay. <laughs> no, to, no, they will. They, like they I really think that they will. Injuries, fighting man. off the it's fighting just... off the Raptors and the Wizards, who have gotten better because they have a year of seasoning, and we need Dwayne Wade to actually be healthy. And that's Bosch, not a bad team, but it's just the injuries. Man. Bosch has always yeah. been a good player. Bosch has. Anyway, oh, uh, we're gonna move on to the Wizards. That's a Heat young five. team. Heat and five. Um. That's, uh, the Wizards have an interesting mix of young players mixed with old players. They have the youngest backcourt in the league. Bradley Beal is still 20. He's in his third year. And who's this team's leader? John Wall. John Wall. Paul Pierce. Wildcat. Okay. Ken- yeah. Kentucky guy. But um, but um, you guys think John Wall can make the leap? I think, I think after having that season last year where they made the playoffs, John Wall was on the national stage. Not that he wasn't used to it. He's a wildcat. He was on the national stage. He didn't do as well in the second round as a lot of people expected, but they did play a better team in the Pacers. I, I feel like having having that playoff experience really did a lot for that team. 
I was one of the people disappointed in them because I thought they could have taken out the Pacers. Just I because they, they should have taken I out the Pacers. I hated the Pacers It was just so inexperience, I think. I think yeah. they had a chance and they were inexperienced and they didn't pounce now, on it. It would be great if Otto Porter could contribute something or anything I think he will team. um this year. Yeah, I, eventually, I, he's going to have to start. I mean, Paul Pierce is not going to hold up playing. Paul Pierce is getting him You're chance. not getting 30 minutes a game from Paul Pierce. So, Otto Porter is going to have to but have like, a that's, major role in that offense. Paul that's Pierce like, is so unconcerned. He showed up to Derek Jeter's last game in his Boston jacket, in his Celtics jacket. Like, he does not care at all. Like, but, like what's being reported is that the older guys on the Wizards are trying to give this team an edge and make them more tough, more aggressive. They want them to be confrontational. Because in, in all honesty, to take out the team like the Cavs, like who they're looking up at, yeah. you have to be the kind of uh, team that gets in their face and is unafraid and is unathletic and are going to commit hard fouls all the time. Yeah, think, Andre Miller that's, is that's, that guy. That's one thing about that Cavs team. They may be they may be flashy. They're going to have a lot of scoring, but they're not going to be physical. They're not going to be very tough. And Nene Hilario can beat up everyone in yeah. the world. I think Andre Miller like does, is unconcerned. He will he will fight. You saw when he tried to fight Blake Griffin. Like he does not. Care. And if Verichau is the He's the crazy Brazilian for the Cavs, so the Wizards have that balance out with Nene. They got his big home. There you go. Varjao is his big And then they have Gortat, who looks like a superhero villain everywhere. Polish hammer. Wasn't he in Rock and Roller when uh, one of the Russian guys in the car? He was. He was that guy. Yes. Do you remember when they made him like... Great reference, Tage. Hide his Air Jordan tattoo that he had on his ankle? Does he sign with Adidas? Right. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) I love this, too. So, like, with, with the Wizards, I mean... The, the addition of Paul Pierce, but for the most part, I think we all agree that the younger guys are just going to have to get better. I think Bradley Beal is 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 there. I think he's yeah, going to be there to this season. Let, in, in all seriousness, again, I, ha- I have to, you know, when me and John are talking basketball, I have to say that. Um, I think the Wizards are the favorite in this division. And no. They should be. Yeah. <laughs> should be the the Hornets are. I mean, you have... No, the no, the Wizards are, definitely. No. The Heat, the Wizards, the Hornets, the Hawks, the I'm Magic, sorry, John. Heat, five. Never mind. And yeah, also, right, don't count out, like, um, <laughs> Glenn Rice Jr., that guy. Um, He's pretty good, the too. The car might have Ebola. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. We're going to move on. We're talking about the Hornets. We're going to move on to them. That's my making some noise team. Ooh. Making some noise. They got, they got oh. Lance Stevenson. Decibel level of a cat's whisper. A lawnmower. They, they got born ready. I think he's going to take them to another level. Or would, uh, Here's seed. how much confidence I have seed. in Lance Stevenson. <laughs> MKG, two days, Kemba. Two days after it was announced that Lance Stevenson was going for the Hornets, the Flyers started circulating. He posted it on Instagram, too, um, where he hosted his uh, signing party. It was in a strip club. What's wrong? What's, wait, wait, wait. Yes. No. Uh, making noise. Dude, yes. The, wait, what, He's already wait, started to make noise. noise. I, don't, I don't understand. Booty what's wrong clapping with that. is noise too. What is wrong with that? What's wrong? I do not. No, now wrong? you're by yourself on this one. Well, yeah. What, that is. No. Can you please explain that? That is making I just noise. Don't understand. No. Because if the Hornets are your team, do you want uh, your new big free agent signing doing that? I mean, Michael Jordan is the um, owner. Like, I'm sorry. You Michael know what's Jordan, weird about this? It's keeping like, it real. It's like Nile hadn't hasn't heard Lance Stevenson uh, Schmoney remix. That's weird. Hot person. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Would, I, I you know what would be take, different if he had gone to uh, Kentucky. He would have been like, "This is the greatest idea yeah, anyone Nile, has Nile, ever had." Nile, Nile would have loved it. I don't. I don't. When did Nile get so conservative? You know where Chandler Parsons signed his deal in a club with his billionaire owner, with Ace of Spades all over the place. Flaps. Ace of Spades. I'm saying though, the flyer was really, really Man. crummy. But oh, 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 oh! So you're just you're objecting just, to the quality of the flyer? No, I'm objecting to him having it was ratchet. The whole thing was a ratchet. I'm objecting to him having a whole ratchet thing about his signing. His so signing party in the strip club. This shouldn't be the he's a man of the people. Team. Maybe this should be the ratchet team. It is the Ratchet team. They this Campbell. is the Ratchet team. They got uh, Al Jefferson. You read an interview on SVP and Russell when he was like, yeah, boss. <laughs> Good. They're <laughs> like, the Ratchet team. Yeah. Jeff- That's what, he from Mississippi. Hey, he Ratchet. They are going to be the bad boys. Not they got the Jeff Taylor. Jeff, this team. Jeff There's Taylor can't stop beating up his yes. girlfriend. Tage. Wizards Hornets. This is our game to watch now. This yes. is our game. This, this is a rivalry in the Southeast. <laughs> Wizards, Wizards, yes, Wizards I Hornets agree game. with this one. Yes, they will be fights. Fights every day. But Jeff Taylor, he needs to stop fighting his girlfriend. First of all, because he well, he better wait. He's still on the team. Yeah, I thought they sent him away and everything. I think they they sent him away, but he's he's on the roster. I think he's gonna end up getting cut. Yeah, he needs to be cut. Yeah, yeah cut. I mean, with don't this, this punch team though. You have face, pr- you have probably the best low post score in the NBA. They still haven't addressed a lack of shooting when they signed Lance Stevenson. I mean, 
You can see the front office knows that by drafting P.J. Hairston, but they don't have consistency shooting the ball, and but you do, need that around. Do last, we trust um, P.J. Hairston in North Carolina? P.J. Like, Hairston looks drugs like he smokes so drugs. many blunts. He looks, I don't, he looks like a blunt. And if, and if that's your best outside shooter, uh, then they, they are Marvin going to have Williams the same. shot a very solid clip from three. Too. They're going to have the same problems they had last year with, with uh, floor spacing. But... Have MKG did change the shot, so there's that. Oh, jeez. He, cha- <laughs> he changed it. He Hold on. Wait it. He did change the shot. He's been getting some buzz about that. I he like how it. Nal just tried to throw Lance Stevenson under the box. One yeah. of my greatest basketball moments when I used to follow MKG on Instagram his rookie season. There was one time where he just liked uh, five thought pitches in a row. And I yeah. screenshotted it and sent it to... Uh, with, it was Basketball Jones at the time. Now the starters. <laughs> and they retweeted it. I was like, yes, MKG is not going to win Rookie of the Year. That's based on <laughs> that. Focused. Now I was 100% cool with that. He's like, oh, yeah, that's good. That's I do that. that. <laughs> I wake up and, and do it on Instagram party every morning. at a strip club. No, I would not. There would be no ratchet flyers if I just signed. You would, you're just saying you would throw, flyer would be You better. would throw a party at a strip club. Your flyer, flyer would be you better. You would do it. Saying. Don't stress me. Yes. Yeah, see? <laughs> Oh, so the Ratchet team, the Hornets, check them out. The Hornets is the Ratchet team, as my making some noise team. Yeah. Can they be more Ratchet than our next team, though? No, because location. <laughs> but no. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, our next team is the Hawks. Uh, they're Ratchet just based off of it. They're like in Racism. the hood in Atlanta. Oh, but in, in all in, in all oh, fairness, racist team. In all fairness. Gentrification can't save them. <laughs> Not at all. Their owner did a promo with T I where he said for, for shizzle. shizzle. That automatically makes them the most ratchet I'm team sorry. in the NBA. I, I mean I don't know. Grand but, Hustle's gonna be but there. Can you please uh repeat what Al Jefferson said in those interviews, Tage? I just I just they were like, Yeah, signing off, you know, good to talk to you. And he's like, Yeah, boss. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. He's from Mississippi. But the thing Grand is, Hustle's gonna be there. Their Grand owner said the that. Their the owner said Grand Hustle. Hold on. Who? But you know, the, the that's, owner that's, that's pretty strong. strong. The that's owner strong. also said I made racist comments three years ago to try to sell a team for, yeah, he was like, take for half a half a billion dollars more. They have what we have to call the I have one black friend ad campaign where they're really trying to They're reconnect. in Atlanta though, all the friends are black. And when you're in Atlanta you have one white friend. Exactly. Well, no. As long as he's not Danny Ferry. It's like this podcast. (laughs) (laughs) As long as he's not Danny Ferry. It's like NASA. (laughs) Yes. No, I think the Hawks are going to be the most uninspired team like ever. Like Al Horford needs to get out of there. I mean, I, they have great strip clubs. So Al Horford's like gonna made, get I hurt. I feel like they made the playoffs by mistake last year. They like, they were trying to tank and they made the playoffs. They're too good. Teague no. is too good. Jeff Millsap Teague is, is too good. Jeff Teague is gonna be an All Star this year. You like if they really want to tank, they have to trade those players. Else, this team is gonna make yeah. the playoffs. So they have that team and and they have Al Horford coming back. And if Al Horford can stay healthy, this team could probably make the second round. They also have Adrian so Payne. So you're saying this is your making noise team. <laughs> That's that's what you said. I, no, that's the thing. They don't make noise. Like they win in the most boring, <laughs> uninspired ways ever. They just oh uh, yeah. That's we, actually not true though. We they won, didn't we? <sighs> they are they're really they're exciting, really but all watch, they do is shoot. Honestly. All they do is shoot three pointers, and they have great they're ball. Very movement. exciting. Al did, Horford is a great passer. Millsap is a great passer. I lo- did Hawks you not watch them against the okay. Pacers? I don't think they made one layup. So it's all threes. Hornets versus Hawks. Is that going to be a rivalry too? That's the ratchet rivalry. And I know I disagree with that. I, I'm sticking with Wizards. The Hornets. Wizards have to be in this mix because Wizards, they're the best team. Yeah, in this Wizards division. and Hornets. I'm sticking with that one. I just like watching the Hawks play. They play a good brand of basketball. Basketball is awesome. <laughs> you just like <laughs> hey, yeah. Hey, why don't you go watch some um, BISS basketball and see so what you think about basketball? I mean, look, I no, watch. Hey, I, I'm just happy to be talking basketball. I lived, I lived in their market when Joe Johnson was there, and I and I watched every game they played. Tana Hill wow, and it took us almost twenty minutes for Tage to drop a to, reference. To Tage, from where I he just lived. taged. But there um, those guys are boring. Like <laughs> they are boring. I'm sorry. They are a team that that, that they're like. They're so boring. They try to tank and they can't even tank. I'm sorry. Like, they're nuts. Their biggest storyline was Kyle Korver going for the three point record. <laughs> I mean, that, that pretty much summed it up about what happened. With LeBron should have went year. to the Hawks. He should have went to the Hawks. If LeBron went to the Hawks, the strip club economy would have picked up in Atlanta <laughs> by a bunch. Definitely. <laughs> not if Savannah had anything to say about it. Yeah, no. Savannah does not play that. Back to Akron with the black strip clubs. Akron is awful. <laughs> that place is a dump. It is a dump. <laughs> right. So our last team in the Southeast Division, um, we're going to preview is the Magic. From the city beautiful. Hola, hola. Oh, I, I saw... No. <laughs> <laughs> Edit that That's that was so terrible. <laughs> Have you ever heard that song before? <laughs> Have you never listened to Hola Ovito? 
<laughs> John, you gonna edit that out? No, that stays, that John. Stays, John. That stays. <laughs> this is that a classic stays. podcast, and that stays. that stays. The magic. I mean, Olin Depot's hurt. He's out for like a month now, right? I don't think not, he's gonna be out a, for a month. Then you get a that, mask. It's not an injury that's gonna you hurt really his athleticism. Face to play basketball. It's not gonna hurt his athleticism, or I mean, the way he plays. He hurt his face. Think, he's gonna I mean, get. It's his, not like he hurt his knee. Or he's his gonna get his Rip Hamilton mask and be. I remember when the magic were good. They're gonna be good again as soon as they fire Jock Bond. That team is like they have good players on um, crazy v- athletic Vucevic. Um, that he's like the second, third best center in the league. Second, third, fourth. like he averages like ten he's a, and, he's and a, thirteen. He's a guaranteed double double. Um, Tobias Harris get, gets buckets. This is a tough division. Now that I'm looking at like looking at this because the Magic are a good young team. It's going to be very competitive. Um, yeah, I think um when, when, five, when they traded a flawless though that opened up a lot of space um for Oladipo to go to work. And I think that's what the Magic wanted. They wanted yeah, a uh-huh. big man who could shoot the three, and they wanted to open up the floor for Oladipo. So, he but you remember penetrate. the last time they were relevant, they had Ryan Anderson, who was able, the yeah, big man th- who could shoot the three. Yeah. So they're trying to go back to that mold. They're gonna, Channing Frye is a veteran on the team. They're gonna hope that Channing Frye can be that guy because you don't really have a lot of shooting otherwise. Tobias Harris Tobias, is not a he's, he's a mid range operator. Yeah, he's not he's not a real shooter like that. Um, Aaron Gordon can't shoot. At, at all, all. So like, I, that was and, curious to me but you know and, what he's gonna and do? they drafted Alfred he's Payton he's a lot of alley-oops from Alfred Payton Alfred Dude. Payton is a floor leader great defender but great I facilitator think... but he can't really but they had a good them. draft let's put it that way their draft was, was draft, on point I, I want to know what their philosophy that remains is to be for seen. the team what's yeah. the philosophy for the team what does Jack Vaughn view he has all these pieces but then what is he gonna do with it they don't seem to fit especially anything Oladipo and Alfred Payton they don't seem to fit like one of them has to be able to shoot Oladipo it's gonna have to be Oladipo like, uh, Oladipo. Oladipo. I like Oladipo. Oladipo though. He reminds me of a young Dwayne Wade. Like just him flying shoot, all over though. the floor. Yeah. Well, you mean fall down the, seven times, pieces, get up eight? I think the pieces do fit. They just have to establish their. They have to it's get gonna, young guys to buy it's gonna into take what year, their identity like two or three is. And years. They have to they're two years that. away from being two years. Yeah, they're two years away from being two years away. But they will. This is year three after Dwight Howard. The rebuilding now has to like you can't rebuild anymore. Now this is just build. Now this is the roster that you have. These guys have to get better, and you have to sign veterans with it and fire Jock Vaughn. I can't emphasize that enough. What's, what do you have against Jock Vaughn? He's an awful coach because this team should have been better than they were yeah, last year. Bad. A team like when you look, like they are like because you look at their standings and you look at who they have and what um v- Vucevic did and what Oladipo did, they really should have been. Mo Harkless is still play. there, right? The bench, the bench is pretty Mo good. Harkless, I think, too. Mo Harkless should be better than he is too. Yeah, so these but, players aren't improving I mean, with this coaching people, staff. He, he so that's what I have against Jock Vaughn. That's the whole point. They are not going to be making some noise this year. No. I like that team. To, you know what? That's going to be my MSN team in the division. I noise. think the Magic are going to make some noise. I like that roster. In which way? I do. In a good, in a good way. Oh, hold on. Some like, noise is only okay, good. like, because we I don't like have over-unders roster. for team wins. So when you say making some noise, you're talking like, what, 30, 32 wins for the team? Or? 38 yeah, win teams. It's the Eastern Conference. Wins teams. So, uh, uh, yeah, because 38 wins might get you in the playoffs in the East. So I don't think they're going to make the playoffs. I think the only way you can make noise is if you make the playoffs. No, so, so no, I don't think so. You can make noise. You can we can make what noise? Uh, then you're making me. noise uh, in a bad John. way. Phoenix noise. made a lot of noise last year, and they didn't make. That's the, the West, though. They would have been like the third seed in. Yeah, the East. but they play in the West, so I don't. know I what think they all making do. some noise is is you get the national media to turn their attention to you and so, say, "Hey, yeah, you get a lot of those." I tell you that what, definitely kind of story not happening. Like. The magic this year. is not there. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> except when when Peyton is throwing alley oops to Aaron Gordon, who's going to be jumping out the gym. What position does Aaron Gordon play? All uh, basketball, <laughs> all no. basketball all. player analysis. Tage. That's his position. I just killed it. He's a utility what player. You got? I think Dunks. He, he's uh, uh he's Michael Kidd Gilchrist. No, no, no. How he's dare better you? than him. How <laughs> dare you? He's better than him. No, he's not. No, he's not. What does Aaron Gordon do better than Michael Kidd Gilchrist? They're both Everything. athletes. Dunk. They're both athletes who can defend and can't shoot and can't. Michael Kidd Gilchrist changed his shot. He can shoot. Uh Aaron no, Gordon is light skin and can dunk, so that always carries you very That's far. That's a Blake Griffin NBA. comparison right yeah, there. Yeah, that, that carries you very far. Michael, I didn't want to say it fine, but Michael, Tate said it. Michael Kidd Gilchrist won a national championship. Thank you, Nolan. Better. Ooh. End segment. Point now. <laughs> with the most loaded team in history, with Anthony Davis, who doesn't matter. Anthony Davis, <laughs> who should one. win it? Who's Tage, like the, you lost. The who's like the best second best player in the NBA? As as so, uh, yeah. Did he, did he? Did he win? If I was on a team, I would have a national title. But were you? No. <laughs> MKG was. End segment.